I was at a conference last September and one of the speakers was from a very well-known um, production company and they were talking about their diversity goals for 2022 because yeah, last year was 2021 so they're talking about the diversity goals for 2022 and you know they said they're starting with um, gender because gender is an easy one to deal with and then they said you know and then later on this year they'll kind of deal with race and as I was kind of listening to this, gender's an easy one, okay? And then um, <laughs> we'll deal with race. It became more apparent that this wasn't their, just their view, but in companies at large, when we're seeing gender equality initiatives, women of color still seem to be left out. The reports show it, the data shows it, it's not a question anymore. And this is why gender equity is so important. Because the equitable part is the part that takes, puts an intersexual lens on anything and looks at the experience of those who sit at this intersection of, of gender and race. And how can we help? And what is the nuance of their experience? And what do we need to do in order to retain, attract, engage, support, promote? All of those things. Because the experience is different. And we still have to look at, if you sit within a particular race and gender, you are by definition the furthest away of having anything in common with those who have the most power. Which means when you're talking about experience, when you're talking about, you know, what could, what does good and great look like? How can we support? What do we need to do? The theoretical sits very much on the, you know, the left-hand side and the lived sits very, and the practical sits very much on the right-hand side. And they don't kind of come together. And this is why gender equity is so important. Because we can't have the base case assumption or we can't say we're going to focus on gender equality first and then down the line we will focus on racial equity. Because gender is easier. A, it's not true that gender is easier. But, but you know, that's another discussion for another day. But the point is, is that this is, this is the match made in heaven, gender equality, racial equity, bring them together as it were, get to gender equity, because we can't forget this equitable piece. We can't forget this piece that to get to having the same amount of opportunities, access, there's more that has to be done. Let's on a scale, for black women in comparison to white women or latina women in comparison to white women you know we have to understand and that's reflected we know it's reflected in the you know there's the gender pay gap but it's reflected in the intragender pay gap if we look at the difference between what white men earn and white women earn versus what white women earn and black women latina women and other minoritized groups earn we can see that there's still an inbuilt hierarchy within women and this is why the equitable piece is so important because we have to do away with this intragender inequity to ensure that if we want to get to the equality part, we're making sure that all women are on the same path and they're standing at the same point to then be able to close the gap with men at large because it is nuanced. There's so much going on. So, you know, for me, this is why gender equity is so important because if we only still focus on the equality, and I'm gonna be more explicit about the gender equity piece because Obviously, my tagline says driving gender equality because it's true in financial services and beyond. But the equity piece is very key for me. And it's always something that's going to be brought along in how we work, what we do, because we can't get to gender equality until we really are equitable in everything we're doing. So thank you as always for your time and have a great day. Bye bye.